are starting the show off with some of our local educators. So joining us now is principal from CompuTech Middle School. We have Tobias Brookins. We also have a math accelerated teacher. This is Jonathan Muster. We have CTE teacher Taylor Visthum, and we have orchestra teacher Arthur Hawinski. So you guys, thank you so much for being here. I've never seen the couch <laughs> th this full. We've got thank some so distinguished people here today. So I was doing a little research on Edison CompuTech, and it's a it's a magnet school. Yes. So can you explain to me what that is? Yes, it's a STEM magnet school. Yes. Yes. So we we focus on science, technology, engineering, and math. And since 1983 we've been able to provide this service to allow students from all over Fresno to apply to have these type of experiences. And right now, um, the way engineering technology yeah. right has taken off and we know there's some things down the pipe actually that are already here it's more important today that our kids are getting that technology education that's systemized across all subject matter so it doesn't matter if it's math science English social studies PE um, and the electives that they have that tech background because that's what they're gonna need in order to be successful absolutely how quickly for me can we answer this how does a magnet school differ from from a charter school yes so and for a magnet school you have to apply and we and we're a criteria based magnet which is the only one actually in the in the Fresno area that means that students after they apply all students can apply yeah but then there is a criteria and so we start looking for the best profiles 425 students each year get accepted into Computech so part of the reason why we're here is to put that word out there yeah so that people know to apply on September 1st so that they can have an opportunity to have their profiles looked at to hopefully be able to make it into Computech. That's actually a pretty big school for uh, just two grades to have that many over 400 students. Actually, it's 800 students oh together, goodness. right? So we take in 425 each year. Um, but that's a, that's about right, about 850. Yeah. But we feel like we have each year the most motivated students yes. applying to Computech because in order to uh, want to do the rigor, want to have the real world experiences, you yeah. have to be motivated and our families are very motivated. So those are some great tips for parents. For parents, when is the deadline to apply each year? Okay, so it's from September 1st to December 1st. Okay. And what we're encouraging families to do is to go to FresnoUnified.org and go to the transfers page or there's some links as well that they can use to go ahead and apply on September 1st. Yeah. Get the application in and if you decide Computech is not for you, you can always opt out. But sure. go ahead and apply so that you can be a part of the on-time bucket, essentially. Because if you're not on time, it's very difficult right. to get in. In fact, this year we had 700 students apply and we have accepted 438. Wow. And so we really would like to see more and more people apply because some people, they say, well, I don't know that my kid would even qualify. But if your child has been motivated, fourth grade, fifth grade, yeah. sixth grade, why wouldn't you give them the opportunity to basically be at the Harvard or the Howard of the West yeah, Coast? Because absolutely. that's what we are, you know, with, we have six um, blue ribbons. Um, Tons seven, of awards. Yeah, seven uh, distinguished school awards. So that's who we are. I, and I want to ask some teachers some questions. So for mm -hmm. math, how how different is the program at Edison Computech compared to maybe another school that also has AP classes and, and things like that? So we have the most accelerated students of any of the middle schools in Fresno, and what that allows the students to do is then they're on track to take more AP classes right. or dual enrollment in high school. And then we also do a lot of like project-based learning, pairing with the STEM magnet, um, and then we're piling a new curriculum that also is a lot mm -hmm. more like student-centered, so uh -huh. the students get to do a lot more like hands-on activities with the math. Interesting. I don't know if I would have done well in that class, but, <laughs> but, but maybe it's that you have a student that thrives in maybe one area of technology and they get to Edison Computech and the curriculum is just so that kind of pushes them in that direction. Uh, Taylor, I'll ask you about some of the engagement opportunities or programs that you have for CTE for students. Well, you know, it's kind of an exciting part of being at Computech because everything's always changing. And so we are always adding new opportunities based on what students say they're interested in and what they want to do. We've had students that have done National Science Bowl. Mm -hmm. Our Science Olympiad team is top notch. It, they, they go to state competition, I think, every year since they've competed. So, you know, going on more than 30 years, it's, um, you know, and within Career Tech Ed, there's always, we partner with, um, with local industries, sometimes with larger entities. Students get to work with them directly. Um, 
I mean, you, you name it, we've done it. I've had executives from Boeing in my classroom watching students use a flight simulator. Yeah. You know, um, so the opportunities are always there, always new, always unique. It's so helpful because, I, so I used to work in Silicon Valley, and there are so many jobs I had no idea existed until I got there. It would have been so great to have those in middle school. So we'll end sort of with Arthur about, you know, not everything is all about technology, and we want kids to be well-rounded. So you, uh, you are in the orchestra department. How do you incorporate that? Is that right? Or do I have that wrong? That, that's correct. Okay. I, I how do you how do you incorporate that into the curriculum into to the kids experience? And that's a good thing that you brought that up. And uh, Computech is a high academic achieving environment and school, of course. And I think what parents don't understand is that students that are involved in the arts, which we have a lot of offerings at Computech, uh, are, it's a proven fact that they will achieve better uh, academic results. Yeah. So we uh, actually, uh, the administration, the faculty, they understand this, and we promote all our arts education programs at Computech. Yeah, and I've always said that uh, I wish I would have been pushed to play an instrument because it just makes you that much cooler. So if you can do math and you can play an instrument, your kid will be well-rounded. Okay, so you guys are going to stick around. You brought some students, so everybody stay tuned. We'll be back a little later on in the show with some students for their perspective on uh, Edison Computech Middle School. You all, thank you so much for being here. You're going to stick around. Still to come here uh, on Central Valley today, the teaching position that is in high demand as students make their way back to the classroom. We're back with this week's Education Matters segment after the break.